We're at the last part of Lesson 13.1. We're at 13.1D. And we're going to discuss relative area. Links to the previous videos and the geometry playlist are in the description. So this lesson is going to lead us into our next lesson of 13.2 when we talk about probability. In geometric probability, the probability of an event corresponds to ratios of the areas or lengths or volumes or parts of one or more figures. So here we have three spinners. You can spin the little arrow around and for these spinners, the probability of landing on a shaded area is based on relative area. Here half is shaded, here three-eighths is shaded, there's eight parts and three of them are shaded, and here one-fourth is shaded. We can use the formulas for area to determine relative area. So we know this is half shaded, so that would be 50% of the area. Three-eighths of this is shaded, 3 eighths would be 0.375 or as a percentage 37.5 percent. For this it's one-fourth so we have one-fourth the area that's shaded which is 25 percent. Here we have the area formulas. Here's the figures, here's the formulas we would use which you should be familiar with. So let's look at this diagram. We have a rectangle. We can see the length is 10 inches and the width is 5 inches. And there's an unshaded part that has a triangle that's got a height of 3 inches. So what portion of this rectangle is shaded? We can write the relative area as a fraction, a decimal, and a percent. We find the ratio of the area of the shaded region to the area of the rectangle. So for the entire rectangle, we do length times width. So we've got 10 times 5, which is 50 inches squared, because we're in inches. For the area of the unshaded, it's a triangle, so we do half base height. So we're going to do half times 3 times 10, because we've got 3 inches here and 10 inches here. If that's 10 inches, that's 10 inches, right? That's 15 inches squared for the area of the unshaded. We do the area of the shaded over the area of the rectangle. So we can do this unshaded, this 15, subtracted from the entire thing 50. That gives us 35 fiftieths. We can reduce this as 7 tenths, which as a decimal is 0.7 and as a percentage is 70%. So for this example, we found the area of the triangle and we subtracted it from the entire thing to find out the shaded area. Now looking at this diagram, we have a square whose sides are 8 inches and there's two shaded pink circles in them. This is 4 inches, which means our diameter is 4 inches for each circle, isn't it? And if the diameters are 4 inches, the radius must be 2 inches. We use the area for a circle, pi r squared, to find the area of these circles. For the entire square, we've got side squared, so that's 64 inches squared. For the circles, because we have two of them, I multiplied 2 times pi r squared. That's 2 times pi times 2 squared. That gives us 8 pi. We write the area of the shaded over the area of the square, so we have 8 pi over 64. We can divide out common factors, so we reduce with 8. We have 1 8, and there's 8 eighths and 64. That gives us pi over 8, which on our calculators comes out to approximately 0.39, which is approximately 39%. So the relative area of the shaded portion is 39%. So now we're going to move on to 13.2, which is broken up into an A and B, so the videos aren't too long. We're going to talk about theoretical probability and complement of an event in the next lesson. 
Keep trying. I believe in you. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you for the next part. Bye.